Hello and welcome to SAT TV Week, I'm Richard Hooper. Nilesat has taken a long-term lease for multiple transponders on the Utilsat 8 Westby satellite to be launched in mid-2015 to the leading video neighbourhood in the Middle East and North Africa. The 7 stroke 8 degrees west video neighbourhood operated by Utilsat and Nilesat broadcast more than a thousand TV channels to over 52 million homes located from Morocco in the west to the Gulf in the east. Both operators have steadily brought new capacity online to meet thriving demand and the acceleration of high definition channel launches. The next phase of the expansion comes next year with Utilsat 8 West B that will bring additional resources, increased operational flexibility and improved signal integrity for client broadcasters. SES and Euro Sky Park have signed a comprehensive partnership agreement. It provides for greater technical cooperation between both companies and gives ESP long-term access to KU band capacities on the powerful Astra 3B satellite at the orbital position 23.5 degrees east. As part of this deal, SES Techcom will provide ESP with ground infrastructure as well as offer its services and know-how for the continued development of ESP solutions, such as system design and testing. For its part, SES will receive access through ESP's globally leading systems and turnkey solutions to the growing dynamic market of secure satellite communications, security and surveillance solutions for industrial clients. Cellavision and Arabsat have entered into an exclusive long-term partnership to deliver the first hybrid broadcast broadband TV service to the Middle East and North Africa. The service will be provided to Arabsat customer bases from three different locations, Jordan Media City in Jordan, Do in UAE and Overon in Spain. The Arabsat satellite-based service will be complemented by the Cellavision OTT platform and content library of Cellavision to provide different viewer experiences for the 26 degrees Arabsat hotspot. Now for news on the IBC 2014 event. This essential meeting place for everyone engaged in creating, managing and delivering content attracted over 55,000 visitors. The satellite industry was there in force displaying its new products for the broadcast industry, including the widely used mobile antenna systems. I asked Steve McGuinness of AVL Technologies why the systems are sought after by media companies. Uh, the, the ability to get on site with, with news is, is just very, very important. Um, uh, any, any interview that has impact um, tends to be on, on, on the site of the news. Um, so that, that, that's always a, a major consideration for the broadcasters. So mobility is a, is a big issue. 4K Ultra HD was on display wherever you looked, but what do satellite operators really think? According to Intelsat and SES, 4K is not just a passing phase like 3D TV. So we really see 4K in a completely different way from, from what we are seeing from 3D. And I'm sure that you are going to see it during IBC, there is clearly a buzz. What we have done last year is for the first time we have distributed a 4K service live on TV where we were able to demonstrate that it's a reality. And you could see people in the booth having a look at what is 4K and they were really impressed. So first you see the, the response from the viewers which I'm not sure we have ever seen with 3D. There was always a bit of yes this is interesting but it's not astonishing. What we see with, uh, with 4K is really a good response from the, from the viewers. What we have done recently is we have conducted a survey with our media customers. And this is where you see that they are planning to launch 4K channels. You see 23% of the uh, people that we have surveyed that are already telling us that they have a plan in the next four years to launch 4K. You can see that the equipment providers are also very active. So we see really a number of things that are happening where we believe it's a complete different situation from the 3D story. I mean, definitely not. I mean, you can already see the, the buzz around 4K, right? It's, it's, it's already... There was a buzz around 3D. Though. Yeah, but I mean, now it's uh, more or less already a reality. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, uh, uh, you can see that uh, the... Uh, uh, the TV sets are available already. I mean, price is going down. 
uh, technology is evolving. We're finding ways to optimizing the capacity to make it really uh, uh, more appealing even for broadcasters. Uh, so I think it's uh, actually going to be a reality. It's going to be a game changer. Uh, it's going to be uh, quickly adopted. And uh, and it's, uh, you indicated, I mean, moving away from Africa. I don't think that we should move away from Africa even for 4K. Uh, I, I, I'm a strong believer that where, again, Africa is going to be able to leapfrog on what yeah. is happening elsewhere. So 4K, in my view, will be adapted in Africa much sooner than anticipated because you have new TV sets that are going to be sold in Africa. Today, most of them are already HD uh, capable. So if the price of those... Uh, TV set continues to go down. We'll see an introduction of 4K enable uh, TV set at affordable price, and content is going to be uh, available. So, why not even uh, seeing 4K in Africa around the next World Cup? Why not? And finally, Utilsat Communications and Cisco unveiled the integration of Cisco VideoScape and Utilsat Smart LMB technology at this year's exhibition. The two companies combine their expertise for a demonstration of live IP streaming and push video on demand services accessed through an easy to navigate user interface that can offer broadcasters the most advanced turnkey solution for connected TV services. Utilsat Smart LMB is a low cost device that bundles DTH reception of TV channels with a narrow band satellite return channel for short transmissions of IP packets. As such, it opens the door for broadcasters to operate their own ecosystem of linear television and connected TV services directly by satellite. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.